So the first thing we're gonna have to do is take out the GPU. Um, this is the uh, 12 volt power cable here. It's uh, gonna be pretty snug, or it should be. Make sure that your uh, power cable to your GPU is, is plugged in. You don't want that, that thing overheating. Um, yeah, so once you get that out, you're gonna start, you gotta take out the screws that are holding the GPU into the chassis. On this motherboard, there's a quick release button for the GPU, which is actually really cool. So I just press that button and then pop the GPU right out. Just be careful when you take it out. Next thing we gotta do here is um, remove the heat sink over the, that's covering where the two SSDs are gonna be installed. Uh, here you can see there's two spots uh, for SSDs. I'm gonna fill them both up. Both of these are two terabyte uh, SSDs here. These little uh, toolless clips are great. They're really, they're really good. Instead of having to fiddle with those tiny little screws here, you just gotta make sure that you get the, uh, the plastic clip turned the right way so you can push the SSD all the way down. Once it's down, then you can lock it in place just like that. It's very easy. Here on the back side of the heat sink, you gotta take off the uh, plastic covers that are on the bottom of the heat sink here. They can be kind of finicky, just take your time. You don't wanna pull the, uh, the adhesive off of that. That would be no good. And once you got those off, now it's time to uh, reinstall the heat sink over top of the SSDs. This can be a pain in the butt to line up properly. Uh, just take your time and you'll get it. It's, it's not it's not hard, uh, it's just the, the, the screw holes are very small, so getting it lined up can be kind of tricky. And then once that's done, we're going ahead with the uh, putting the GPU back in. Uh, just be very careful again, you don't wanna force this thing in the wrong way. So take your time, get it lined up, um, once you've got it lined up, go ahead and snap it in. Uh, never, 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 when you're working on PCs, never use excessive force. Everything goes in relatively easy. If you're using excessive force, I promise you, you're gonna break something, especially um, when you're putting stuff in. So get it get it slotted in, get it connected. Then you gotta put the, uh, the screws back in, screwing it back into the chassis. You're gonna take the 12 VH power cable, plug that thing back in. Got to keep it, keep it straight, make it look good. Then we're gonna take the, uh, we're gonna get the glass panel, put the glass panel back on, uh, take little thumb screws uh, from the top and the bottom, screw those in. And once that's screwed back in, we're gonna get everything in place, uh, put the computer back in place, get all the all the cables plugged back in, um, and then we're gonna go to the uh, power on. Flip the power switch on the PSU. We got lights on the motherboard. Power it on, we're good to go. All right, now that the PC is booted back up, we're gonna get, get into Windows here and uh, we're gonna click on the start button and then we're just gonna type in disk and then you're gonna look for the where it says initialize disk. And here, if we scroll down, we can see all uh, four of the, uh, the NVMe SSDs that I have. Plus I have a, um, a USB stick in there for my Waves plugins for my audio editing. Um, but yeah, so you're gonna go in here and find your SSDs. Now, sometimes the disk may not initialize. In this case, both of both of mine did initialize, so I don't have to go through the initialize step. The computer just recognized them automatically, and it automatically assigned them a drive letter. Um, I'll leave the letters where they're at, but I'm gonna go ahead and change the uh, the name of the drives just for the video's sake. I'll just you know call it Storage Two and Storage Three. So I named that one storage too. Now I'm looking for the other one. You can see the, the second NVMe that I already had in, in the computer is called, just called storage. Um, so that's why I'm calling these storage two and storage three. Now, once I figure out what I actually wanna use these uh, SSDs for, then I'll, I'll name them accordingly. Um, so now I found the, uh, the fourth one here. It's given drive letter F. Go in and click rename and change it to storage three. PC, we can see all four of the drives. Those are all four of the NVMe drives right there. We got the C drive, storage, which is D, storage two, which is E, storage three, which is F. And then, like I said, I have a USB drive there. Uh, I saw that there was a little bit of space missing on the uh, storage three, or sorry, storage two. Um, so I went into it and of course, I saw that there was a folder in there. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that and go back into the, um, to the disk settings, initialize a disk. 
and we'll look for storage two. We'll go to properties and we're just gonna format it. It's a very little amount of space, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, just format it, clean it off completely. I don't know how there was anything on there. It's a brand new drive, but it happens from time to time from the manufacturer. All right, got that done, and now we'll go back to the PC and we'll check it, and now you can see that it folder's empty and the space is back. But now we look at the other one and we can see that there's a little bit of space taken up on that one too, so we're gonna do the same thing. We'll go over here and we'll um, go back to the initialize a disk. We'll look for storage three, and we're gonna go ahead and format it. We don't need to change the volume label. We already did that. There we go, we're gonna format it. Just put the name back in there. You can leave every all the other settings as default. Hit format, should be good to go. All right guys, that's all there is to it. I appreciate you guys watching. If you could, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated.